Hi, you're watching Adorama TV, and I'm Doug McKinley. In today's segment, we're going to look at some of the do's and don'ts of getting some really great evening and night pictures. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. First and foremost, we need to find the right spot. If you know your city really well, you're already ahead of the game. A little trick I use is I carry a little notebook with me all the time. So when I'm working, whether it's here in the UK or overseas, if I see something that might be interesting for an evening shot, I just mark it down, simply writing down a location and one or two lines about why it's interesting. The next thing we have to think about is logistics. Primarily what I mean is where and when the sun sets. Of course, this will be different where you're located. But for here in the UK, I prefer to shoot from late autumn through early spring. I just find the sky much more interesting at these times of year. Plus, it has the added advantage of I'm not stuck out till 11 o'clock in the evening every night like it would be in the summertime. Like all successful photography, preparation is key. Once you've found your location, it's time to consider a few of the technical aspects of what we want to achieve. What lens will I use? How much movement, if any, do I want to include in the shot? Is my tripod sturdy enough to carry my heaviest lens? Once you've crossed all these T's and dotted those I's, it's time to get down to making serious pictures. So we're in our spot. We're here before the sun's gone down. Gives us lots of time to get set up. Camera's on the pod. I've chosen my f-stop. I've chosen my lens. I know that the London Eye behind me and the uh, London Assembly buildings are going to be lit up at night. The London Eye will be moving, so I want to show some of that movement, so a really slow shutter. I'm guessing 30 seconds to a minute, maybe more. It also gives a nice icy sheen-like effect on the river. It's not such a bad thing either if the boats go back and forth, because you'll get the trailing lights going through the picture. Now in terms of white balance, I tend to shoot auto and adjust in the computer where necessary. When I'm shooting, I tend to shoot a few minutes apart and just check my LCD screen every now and then to make sure that everything is sharp. We're going to be using slow shutters, therefore we cannot touch the camera. You either have to use a, a cable release or a 10 second timer on your camera. So now it's a bit of a waiting game. We're waiting for that, for that light to start to fade a little bit to give us a little bit of movement. So the light's getting perfect. The sky and the foreground are starting to even out. I'm going to get some nice slow shots now. I'm just going to take one. Okay, I got a three second exposure at f11. It's going to give me a nice sheen on the river and nice slow action on that, that wheel. It's not bad, but I want better. I want this to be really slow. I want those colors and that movement to jump out at me. A little more waiting. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest where you could win some amazing prizes. So the light's getting really nice now, and I'm going to make a progression of pictures. I'm going to stop down the aperture to f16 and increase my shutter speed. 25 seconds and then 30 seconds plus. It's a 20 second exposure. You can see the river starting to get all glassy, nice and glassy, ice-like, but I'm still unhappy with it. I want it to be slower still. Once we're past 30 seconds, we need to switch to bulb. Now for our purposes tonight, we're using this cable release that's got a locking system on it. So once we lock it, the shutter will stay open until we unlock it. It's more or less a guesstimate. I'm going to leave it open for like 45 seconds. So I'm going to count in my head before I let the shutter go. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a picture. So thanks for joining us here on Adorama TV. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. And let us know what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video. And come on by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.